We're gonna hit, we're getting hit. We're gonna hit on our cut bait. There we go, come on, come on. There it goes, there it goes. Oh yeah. There's a fish. What's going on Salt Strong Nation? Today we've got another awesome preview from our upcoming beach fishing mastery course with Bama Beach Bum. This one's gonna be over catching big redfish in the surf and we've got a lot of really good stuff to share today. But just remember, this is just a small piece of a huge course that's got a ton of information in it to help you become a better beach fisherman. So I hope you guys enjoy the video today, but we're looking forward to seeing you in the course when it comes out on May 31st. So the spot that we're setting up in today to look for these redfish we are close to an inlet, which is uh, one of my most favorite features to look for. But beyond that, looking up this, and down this beach, you can see there's a little bit shallower water closer to the beach in this direction. As we walk down this beach, we found this nice little area, a drop off coming off of the beach where we can reach that deeper water with our cast. Today in particular, we've got a lot of wind, so it's actually difficult to get those really long casts to reach further out. So I needed an area that I could cast to that water Water and not have to give it too much, especially casting these heavy leads, they can be a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and get this bait out, and especially with this wind, I wanna cast into the wind and hopefully have that bait settle. Right in front. So all you gotta do is get it out there and wait. Oh, oh, yep, yep. See if he'll eat it. I don't know. We got some slack here. Yeah. We're fishing on. Nice. We got a fish. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think we got one. No way. All right, we're hooked up. We had a uh, piece of cut bait out, just a uh, mullet head. One of my most favorite baits to use for redfish on our uh, improved Carolina rig for the surf. We've just let it, been letting it soak for a long time. And uh, we've got a decent fish here. We've got some pretty rough surf. So I don't want to horse the fish too much because it's going to just continue to uh, put a bigger hole in that fish's mouth, especially with these heavy, heavy current and, heavy, and the heavy waves. So we're just going to play it nice and easy. Woo! <laughs> this is what's so fun about big game surf fishing. You get opportunities at some really, really quality fish. And uh, they actually like these conditions. These bigger fish, a lot of the times, uh, there's a, a kind of an old saying, big, big waves, big fish. And a lot of times that, that can hold true. All right, I think we've got a nice redfish on here. Nice bull redfish. This was our target species. One of the primo targets while you're surf fishing. Beautiful, beautiful beach redfish. All right, we're gonna get this circle hook out. It's right in the corner of the mouth. Circle hooks are definitely the best way to fish for these species. Real easy to get out. Nice redfish over slot. We won't get a measure, no need. This is, was our target. If you notice, the coloration on these fish are real light. These uh, species of redfish, when you find them like this along the beach, they spend their entire life on the beach and they adapt to that coloration of the sand and that clean water. Unlike the fish that you find in the bays, they're gonna have more of a copper color to them. Just a beautiful fish. Mullet is a great bait. That's what they're out here to eat. So much fun. You gotta love surf fishing and the opportunities that you get at so many different species, targeting them so many different ways. We'll get this guy back. Beautiful spots. He had two on one side, one on the other. And I'm gonna get in the water with this fish. I'm gonna try to keep his head forward. We got some crashing waves, so it makes it a little more difficult, but we wanna get a good revive on this fish. Spend some time with him. There he goes. Kicked off great. I love surf fishing, it's so much fun. Bye. 
right. There he goes. Oh, I'm going to let that drag go. There we go. We're fish on. That's a heavy fish. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he just darted in a little bit. I just loosened that drag. I had it a little tight. I want him to be able to run if he wants to like that. We don't want to horse him in too much. All right, we just released. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I do have my drag a little loose. We're just gonna let him fight a little bit, get him tired. Woo, he's, he's hitting the top. So I'm, I'm messing with my drag a little bit and I actually get a lot of grief for that uh, on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but when you're surf fishing this way, my recommendation would be to start loose. Uh, you're not holding the rod when the fish strikes. So when that fish hits, I wanna make sure that it can pick up that bait and it can run freely. I don't want it to break any equipment. I don't want it to cause any more problems. That loose drag is like insurance. Just gives you an opportunity to let that fish take line without breaking any, anything that may be weak in your, in your system. Also, when you're fighting fish in the surf, I like to start loose just to tire that fish out just a little bit because I don't want to rush anything. There's nothing that this fish can break off on. There's no structure out here. We've got rough surf and current that's only going to make that fish heavier than it is. The heavier that fish, the more I pull on that fish, the larger the hole in that fish's mouth is going to be. So I want to let that fish play out a little bit. As it gets tired, I'm gonna to start to tighten down my drag and begin to get that fish in a little bit quicker because now it's not fighting me as much. It's not fighting with that current and those waves. It just gives a nice, smooth fight to that fish and gives you a better chance of landing it. When you're surf fishing, you do wanna keep in mind having a larger reel set up. Having that line capacity is, is really key. You're making long casts, so you're already putting a lot of line out. You wanna allow these fish to have an opportunity to take runs and pull out more line. We are stationary. We're not in a kayak or in a boat like you would be in a lot of other fishing situations where you might can follow that fish. So you wanna make sure you've got plenty of line so that you can still manage that fish throughout the entire duration of the fight. So if you notice how I'm fighting this fish is I'm pulling it towards me, I'm pulling the rod tip up, and then I'm reeling in the slack back down. That's the best way to fight these big fish. And if he decides, I just felt him tug a little bit. He's pretty tired now. We're close to the end of the fight. But if I feel him tug, I'm just gonna stop what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to hold the rod at about a 45 degree angle and let that fish take line. I'm not gonna reel while that line is going out. You don't wanna reel against your drag. That's, uh, that's only gonna cause line twists and also give an opportunity for any, any weak points in your gear to break. So never reel while that drag is going out. But once that fish stops, I'm just gonna continue pulling the fish towards me and then reeling the slack down. When you're landing these big fish in the surf, you can use the waves to your advantage. If you see me backing up like I am, that allows the fish's head to stay towards me a little bit better by backing up. That just pulls the fish's head this direction. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep taking steps back with the wave, because that wave's gonna push the fish towards the beach. So I'm using the waves to my advantage and helping me get the fish to shore. Instead of just letting the waves fight me, I'm just using them. And that's, that is what backing up allows you to do. My goodness. Wow. Woo. Well, we, we've upgraded size from the last fish that we just caught. Beautiful redfish. I love these fish so much. They're so much fun on the beach. The coloration of them are just beautiful. These fish that live their lives on the beach. That's an awesome fish. All right, we're gonna get a nice revive on this fish. I'm gonna get back in the water with him. Try to keep his head forward. Oh, oh this one's strong. <laughs> we didn't have it out of the water very long at all. Beautiful. 
<laughs> that's number two. You can see how effective it can be if you set up in the right spot, use the right baits, use the right rigs. It's a lot of fun. So if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the number one online fishing club in America because we guarantee that we're going to help you catch more fish, save money on tackle, and make friends fast. So thanks so much for watching and we're hoping to see you in the Insider family soon.